Hello there, everyone. Happy Tuesday. We are here with our weekly live training, and I am so excited to be here with everybody today. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. We're going to get started in one minute, and we're going to be talking about the mental side of weight loss. This is huge for so many people, and we're going to be diving into that in just one minute. So if you're watching this live, please comment Team Live. If you're watching this replay, please comment Team Replay. We want to know when you're watching. We want to know what you want to hear more about, too. We have a lot of fun things coming up in February. We're going to have a client-only challenge going on inside of Practice Better, which is our client platform. We're going to be having our master class, which all of the details are going to be dropped next week, but it is going to be dedicated to one of the macronutrients, and it is the most important macronutrient for weight loss. So that's coming next week, all of the details on that. So we can't wait to share that. That'll be happening at the end of February. And then we also have a training that's going to be going on with our intern, Cassie, um, as part of a project that she's doing for school. So more information will be coming about, out about that stuff. So definitely, if you're not on the NWE email list, please send me your email address. I will make sure that you are on there. Um, if you're interested in any of this stuff, you're like, hey, I definitely want to be in the masterclass that is coming at the end of this month. And even the one in February is, at, or uh, excuse me, March is awesome as well too. Shoot us a message. We do have the masterclass membership, $29 a month. You get every single masterclass plus 10% off all other programs along with a Q&A every single month where you can ask me any questions and I'm here to support you and give you guidance. So it looks like everyone's hopping on here with us live. Hey guys, happy th uh, Tuesday, not Thursday. Amy says she's team live. Hello, Amy. Shay's here. Thanks guys for joining. So we are talking about the mental side of weight loss. Now you might be like, that just doesn't make any sense. It's all about our actions. And you are correct. Weight loss is actions along with the inside things. The number one person that you have the most conversation with your entire life, not your significant other, not your kids, not your parents, not your friends. It is yourself. And the mental side of making sure that we are aware and we're on the ball and we're making good changes is so important. How many times have you doubted yourself? How many times have you said, this is not going to work. Whatever I'm doing is not going to work. This is going to fail. Or I don't even know why I'm doing this anyways. I always fail at things. If you've done that before, raise your hand. I know that I have, like, it's not going to work. I don't even know why I'm doing it, but I'll just do it anyways. We go into these situations with these bad mindsets of like, it's not going to work. And all of a sudden we're having this conditioning in our mind without us even realizing it, without us even understanding that it's happening. Hey, Debbie, hey, Amy, um, without it's even ha known or us knowing that it's happening, it's turning on in our mind of this doubt and this conversation or this BS story we tell ourselves that just because I have failed before, I am always going to fail. And when we have this conversation and this understanding that is circling through our minds, it makes it so much easier for us to throw in the towel and quit because we've identified with something that may not even be true. You could be doing great, but you could have this conversation and you could say, you know what? It's not happening. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. You know, I failed all these other times and this is happening without you even realizing it. We go in and once we start to convince ourselves this thing may not work or what I'm doing is not possible or this goal is too big or it's not going to happen because it's never happened before, we start to tell ourselves, let's find ways to make sure it doesn't happen. It makes it so much easier for us to make those decisions to stay the same rather than to be uncomfortable. We as humans are known to stay in a place of like, I'm right here right now, this is familiar and have a hard time making change because it puts us into an uncomfortable situation but we always know every time we make that change every time we make that hurdle or that next step we always come out on that brighter side the brighter side the better side and whatever it is closer to our goals so we can sit there and we can think okay well this is not going to happen this is not going to be great it's not going to work whatever it is or we can start to start to take that step back and be like well why do i think that am i not enjoying what i'm doing right now am i not seeing the progress that i want am i fully committed Am I waiting for external factors to motivate me? Am I waiting for my spouse to be on board? Am I waiting for the sun to be shining one day for me to go outside and go on a walk? Am I waiting for me to roll out of bed and have the energy to finally go downstairs in the basement and start working out or go grocery shopping or whatever it is? Because if we're waiting for that stuff, 
We're never going to be taking action. We're never going to be making those changes. There is never a right time to do something and you are never going to magically roll out of bed feeling so excited for something unless you have the buy-in and the belief in yourself that it can happen. There's always that voice in your head that's saying, you can't do it, you can't do it. Not gonna happen, what are you doing? You failed. But we have to say like, that's old me. That's not helping me. That's not advancing me. That's not helping me make these changes and go forward. We have to actually believe in yourself. I love that quote that always circulates around Christmas time where it's like, you believed in Santa Claus for how many years? Like, please believe in yourself now. We have to believe in ourselves and equip ourselves because that magical change is not going to happen unless we start making that progress. Unless we start to say, these goals matter to me, I am going to make the change and it's up to me. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. We have to get out of our own mind and out of this negative cycle because it's also leading you to ways that you are sabotaging yourself. It's leading you to those negative patterns that you've already found yourself in of, I put the kids to bed and then I come downstairs and then I grab something out of the pantry. Or I come home from work and I'm stressed out from work, so I go to the snack drawer or to the cabinet or into the fridge and just grab something and just start eating it and not realizing how much I'm having to the point where I feel so full and I still have to make dinner and I can't not eat dinner. We have to stop with this autopilot thing that's happening, which is so part of the mental side of weight loss and create more awareness and be like, what am I thinking? What are the thoughts that I'm having? Am I being my own barrier to success? And actually start to say, well, how can I change that? How can I start to believe in myself? What needs to change? And how can I make that change? Because nothing's changed unless we do it. Your partner is not going to magically become supportive. Your partner may not have this buy-in on the same journey that you are, but that does not mean you need to wait for them in order for you to make this change. We have to say, how can I start, even though they may not be on board? And I'm just going to lead with example. They may not be like, I'm going to eat all the salads with you. You know, they may be like, F that. I want all the fries. But that doesn't mean that you need to make that decision because they are making that decision. We are our own human beings. We have to get off autopilot. We have to understand how we're feeling, create more of that awareness in order to make those changes. The awareness is the huge piece of this. We have to understand what's going on and how we're feeling, what our actions, our behaviors are in order for us to make those changes. So slowing down, listening to your thoughts and being like, okay, if I called myself a fat slob, that's not really nice. If somebody called me a fat slob, I wouldn't want to hang out with them. So why am I saying that to myself? Why am I degrading myself? Why am I holding myself back with these negative thoughts that aren't helping me? You have control over them and you can say, all right, let's squash that. That's not true. I know all the stuff that I'm doing. I know what I have to get done. We have to take that initiative and get started. We have to have the mental part of this in check and the motivation is going and the determination to achieve it rather than just saying like, well, once all of this works out, it'll be great because nothing magical changes once you reach your goals. It's the process that gets you there that's more enjoyable. Nothing magical changes when you hit your goal. There's no fireworks coming out of the sky. There's no angels coming down from heaven or anything like that. The real growth is coming backwards. How far have I gone? Asking why. Great advice. Absolutely. We have to ask ourselves, why are we doing these things? Why am I feeling this way? Where is it coming from? And like, that reality check to ourselves of like, is this really serving me? Are these thoughts serving me and helping me? Maybe you keep a journal and you start to write stuff down in the journal of like, what are these thought patterns that I find myself with? Let me just have a stream of consciousness for 10 minutes or so and writing it down or recording it and talking it and saying, where do these thoughts lie? And how is that helping me or is it hurting me? Because you would want a cheerleader in your own ear. Like we're cheerleaders for our one-on-one clients, our clients that are in our group programs and our master classes, but You also need to be the cheerleader for yourself too. Having that determination and those boundaries of I am going to reach my goals no matter what it takes. I'm not going to let this little stupid voice in my head say I can't do it. So if that resonates with you, let us know. Tell us down in the comments below. We have to be able to take that step back and call ourselves out on our own BS. Because if we're just having this negative cycle all the time and not feeling great, that's not helping us. We're not advancing our goals. We're not getting better. Creating more awareness is going to help so much in that first step. It's also gonna help you to prevent any of the hiccups that might come along the way as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy Tuesday. The replay is gonna come out in our Friday client or Friday newsletter that comes out every Friday. I will see you next week and we'll do another live training. See ya.